What's up? What's going on, my friends? A little bit of technical issues behind the scenes, apparently, but that's all right, because we did it. We did it. And tonight is a good night to talk and be happy. After the last few days, it sounds good to me. So, first things first, let me share the live stream link in the Discord, because between the stream I did here yesterday and the fact that I put out a 40k lore video on this channel today. I don't know if it's actually going to send out the notifications properly. Because YouTube says they'll only do it for like two things a day within like a 24 hour period. So I might have kind of stepped on that. Uh, all right, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Switch this up. Perfection. Okay. Let's have some regular old water. And say our hellos. What up, Jose Beasley, Potts, James P, Yamagoro, Ned, Juglum, Kurt, Lasagna, Jess, Gerthulu, Zircon, Kensiki, Felonius T, Mill Master. Joe, did I miss anybody? Nope, I think I got y'all. Hello, Mill Masters membership message says, you're pregnant? Oh my God, congratulations. I thought I noticed a bump in your last video. Yes, yes I am. It's definitely not fat. <laughs> <laughs> what up Speedwagon? What up Gary? What's going on, Eng? Oh, Juggling, you loved the 40k lore video? I had a lot of fun making it. I laughed a lot making that ridiculous video. <laughs> That's what I spent the time I would have spent working on Thunder Junction doing instead. And while it's going to get way fewer views overall because it's a random 40k lore video just jammed onto this channel, it was way more satisfying than dealing with Thunder Junction. I read the Thunder Junction lore while I was taking a dump today, and that's exactly what it deserves. A quick cursory, this is stupid. So let me just make sure I understand the story properly, right? Nobody can find Tarnation. Why is that? Because a cool gang destroys everybody who finds the place. Oh, okay, must be hard to find on top of that, right? Well, it's got a gigantic floating rock that blasts magma out, so you'd be able to see the lava from, like, a far way away. And all the buildings are made of lava and stuff, but, like, no, you can't see it. You can't see it. And also, remember, remember, a cool's guys take out everybody. So when these guys all walk into the Hellspurs camp, all hell breaks loose, and the Hellspurs, oh, wait, no, they don't attack them at all. They just let them wander through like it's nothing. Until Kellen's nice to somebody in a bar, and then they go, you're not from around here. And they point their thunder blaster in his face and go, you're too nice to be from here. And then this bloodthirsty, murderous group that destroys everybody who comes here doesn't hurt Kellen at all. And everybody just gets arrested. You're all under Hellspur arrest. We're the most rugged outlaws who kill anybody who shows up. But every single one of you will be completely unharmed. We won't even cut you a little. Oh, so why could nobody find Tarnation? Uh, do you want to make this make sense at all? Like even slightly? But it's like, no, what are you talking about? Yeah, there's a bar brawl. No, the bar brawl shouldn't happen because they shouldn't be allowed in there, right? And it's like Oko transformed into one of the Halspurs to give them credibility. Uh, you're contradicting yourself. Either you need that credibility and you can go in there with them and go, I brought these people here, but you didn't do that. You just all walked in like it was nothing. It's so dumb. And where is Rakdos? Where the fuck is Rakdos? Fisher says, can I make a request for Traz in the infinite lore? You can request whatever you like. What, what the hell is Traz in the infinite? <laughs> Well, I would say you're Lord of the Board, but Speedwagon literally jumped right on top of you with his super chat. I'm assuming Karavik, who's been missing since 1996, received no justice whatsoever from his role in Thunder Junction? Hold on, hold on, right? We all know Karavik as a bloodthirsty tyrant who slaughters people, right? We know him as someone who uses, like, death and fire magic. So they do him absolute justice in the Thunder Junction story because he's an artifact expert and his job is to 
unravel the mysteries of the artifact, the sixth shard of the key. And since we all know that's since we all know that's his specialty, it makes absolute sense that this murderous maniac would ab yeah, like all of his abilities are around artifacts on the cards and stuff. Like when I think artifacts, I think Kervik. So they totally did it right and it felt good and made a lot of sense. So rest assured, rest assured that they, they did definitely, oh, you know what, that's why. I was like, why does it look like that in here? Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> Sirius says, do you think anyone gets justice in this set? Not a chance. It's true. It's true. Nobody is, is what they can be properly. They're all just stunted garbo versions of Staple of Mon right now. You literally have a giant demon. And like all the artwork they have is from a different fucking story that they wrote. Seeing all these stupid yeehaw dumb fucks together is so goofy. Trazin is a Necron Lord who's apart from the rest of his kind. I, you know what? That feels somewhat familiar. Fisher, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest in that. I doubt I'm gonna do any more Warhammer lore. I did that little like thing and went, oh, this is fun, and I had a laugh. But I'm not interested in like replacing what I was doing on Fantasy Geographic right now with other lore. I made that today to amuse myself because I've been struggling with the loss of family and stuff and today has been really hard and the easiest time I had today was when I was laughing and cracking jokes about the the emperor and making that video so unless it's so, like I just want to make fun funny stuff and I'm not interested in having to go and research to make that so at this point at this juncture your request for tragedy is noted but it's highly unlikely it will materialize anytime soon you know Never let common sense get in the way of terrible storytelling. <laughs> Break stop, just poured you some of Gene Seed. Did you like that? Gene said no. <laughs> We're rededicated to lore, guys. Ro Ro Rosewater came out and said it. We're rededicated to lore, and we can see the depth of the lore and the respect they have for us as an audience, like for real. I already, like, there's a part of me that feels bad about what happened with fantasy geographic because there's a lot of sad people and a whole bunch of people are unsubscribing out of unhappiness and it's like that's fine i understand but i can't fake it i can't fake it and i don't want to muddle through to make videos about a shitty story that makes me unhappy and is diminishing my enjoyment of magic overall i want to be happy and have a good time and i've been ha i've been playing magic like every day sometimes for a couple hours i've been having fun with it but the, the like and the I hate the Markov Manor story, but you want to know what? I absolutely had a lot of fun with the Markov Manor free Phantom Sealed event that's still going on, by the way. They'll give you six booster packs, and you can build a deck. Hey, John Pierre, sorry for your loss. Thank you for the super chat and for the kind words, buddy. You are the new Lord of the Board. So, um, so, uh, what was I saying? Bum, bum. Well, it's gone. Whatever it was. Do, do, do. The manor draft. Thank you, Bino. That is what I was talking about. So, basically, uh, it's not a draft. It's a sealed. You get six packs, open them up, that's your pool. So, I got, like, um, I got the new Aurelia, along with some other sweet stuff of white-red. So, I decided I would roll white-red. And then, and then... I start to go through my commons and uncommons, putting the deck together, just slapping everything in. And I'm like, ooh, I got a lightning helix. And I clicked on it and it went into my deck and there was still another lightning helix. I'm like, I have two lightning helixes? And then I looked, I'm like, I have three? Bro, in my six packs, I got three lightning helixes. Other burn, a dog walker, Aurelia, other white rares, that 2-4 flyer with vigilance that lets you investigate every turn. Like, bro, my pool is crazy good and i finished all the uh secret stuff on arena and i've unlocked the 
totally normal event where you get to play with insane decks like the Gix deck. So I've been having a good time with it. I've been having a good time with it. Pin check. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the kind words. Ned, not gonna lie, I dig that you can't do the shitty lore videos and that you won't do political rage just for subs. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Like, that path is, it's easy money and easy attention, but it's not easy on the spirit for me, you know? So, there is a part of me that wishes I could do it and just, like, go full tilt to get the, the bankola, but psh, whatever. I suppose I somehow have integrity. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Does a lore bible for magic exist? Oh, you mean do they? is there information that they can look at to see what's happened? Yeah. Does anybody look at it? No. That costs money. That costs time. You think they're sending that to the writers? You think the writers are reading it? Bro, if you were being paid minimum wage to work at McDonald's, and then McDonald's said, by the way, you need to read this 6,000-page book to work here, you, uh, but you can totally pretend like you've read it and just work the same. Are you going to read that book? Are you going to read a 6,000 page book for McDonald's when you're working for minimum wage? That's the equivalent. These fucking writers are hired because they look right and have a good name or whatever it is. The optics on them. They're not hired for their writing caliber. That's obvious from the quality of their writing. If they were good writers, you go, wow, what a good story. But they can't seem to manage coherence on their own like they don't know how to have internal consistency even with one story chunk how do you go from obeka can reverse time to i guess she just doesn't how do you go from oh look i don't have my ice crown so the ice castle and things i've made out of ice are melting but now the ice crown is gone i'm going to use the ice crown to make a permanent frost blade it's like do you know what you wrote previously you've just demonstrated to us that her magic can't be sustained without the frost crown. Anything made with it will just melt away. And now she doesn't have the frost crown. And you're telling us she's using the frost crown to make this blade. So she doesn't have it to make it. The blade's going to melt. You told me this. You taught me this. Literally. This is where I'm getting the information from. You. You told me. You tell me how the world works. And I just believe you. And then you just go, no, it doesn't. And then I just go, so... Do you care to explain any of it? It's the, the frost stuff is incredibly annoying because you just have to go, she didn't use the frost helm. She didn't use the frost, the frost crown. She literally has coal, like ice magic and can make small permanent items like blades. That's an easy get around. But instead, the idiotic story goes, she used the frost crown that was actually in the other realm with the Fey Lords now somehow and made a permanent blade somehow that breaks everything I said to you previously. It's so silly. It's so silly. Uh, Oni. No, actually, I'm not. I'm not looking to look into Warhammer lore and read any of the books right now at all. At all. But thanks for offering the help. Zeria, you think that Karlov Manor is more consistent? Yeah, you know what? It's got it's got more coherency than this, but barely. It's true. But you know, three helix is busted. Sure is. Sure is. What up, Nakano? Fisher says, we'll be here for whatever you decide to create. Your content is a serotonin boost that gets me through the day. That is what I like to hear. Also, that's part of what we're here to celebrate, friends. We did it. We did it. And I say we because... I am the one who did the work for the sponsorships and stuff, but those sponsorships wouldn't have materialized if you guys weren't a part of what I do, right? So together, we did it. We did something big. Check it out. New camera action, bro, with... Not just the new camera, but a special protective case for it. And this muff here, ho, 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 that protects the microphone. So you get way better sound quality. But, but my friends, this isn't it. This isn't it. I got the full on kit. I got the full on kit to go with it, which includes this crazy little light. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. 
it produces a naughty amount of light. Like this thing is crazy. So you can do night recordings and it goes straight on top of this, right? Bam, like that. I also got this as well. This is a battery pack that adds extra power. It's a tripod that comes with extra controls and stuff. I got the, um, the GoPro like special creator kit or whatever. So you get this, you get the camera, the, the protective case, the microphone cover, all that gear. On top of that, I bought a body harness, right? So that you can put it on and wear it. And I went out and recorded test footage. So I've got test footage of wandering around showing you guys all this kind of stuff. So I got that. I've got a helmet for helmet variations. The one I did today is only a chest variation, right? So uh, this is because I got three sponsorships. I was able to splash out and get this super expensive kit. It cost me very, very many dollars. Very, very many dollars. Um, and there, there was a hiccup, unfortunately. I didn't know that they don't provide a micro SD card, right? Like, so the purpose of this is so that when I go to events, all this kind of thing, when I'm wandering around, I can record all this footage instead of like, when I come back from things, there's all this stuff. I should have recorded this. I should have recorded this. I always forget to record in the moment because I'm too busy interacting with people or whatever else. I never think about the footage. And so I get home and I don't have any. So this is to make that easier and Carly won't have to try and record me or whatever. We'll get way, way more footage. But the SD card is a big problem. And I didn't realize it until I got home um, because I have a time, one tiny little micro SD card from before. It's years old. And I had no idea that it's barely compatible with my phone, oh, not phone, sorry, with my, um, my camera here, this new camera. So when I recorded stuff, it basically, like, I thought it was doing one long uninterrupted recording. Nope. It kept, like, stuttering and breaking the recording up and stuff. So, it didn't turn out perfectly. But you know what? I wanted to show you guys. Like, I, I recorded, I don't know, like, an hour or two's worth of stuff. But I don't, I'm not going to show you an hour or two's worth of footage. I have, like, trimmed it down into random wandering. So... I'm just going to kind of let it run down in the bottom corner while we hang out. All right. So there's me getting off the bus. The coat, I've got it strapped to my chest. The coat, unfortunately, pulled in front of it. And I didn't realize that at first. So I had to like yank it off to the side after a little bit. But yeah, this is like a, it's like a first person view. I went out and did a number of things. You guys, you guys can see me check my post office box. I also had, uh, I went out and had breakfast too, using the thing. So it's, uh, it's got some real potential overall. I think that uh, it's pretty sweet. Like, I'm happy with the way that it's working. But I need to get an SD card. And that's, I guess, going to have to wait until some more sponsorships or something happen. Because I blew my wand getting this, bro. <laughs> but it's worth it. I mean, the camera's awesome. It's awesome. And having all the extra stuff to go with it. Like, the all the pieces, bro. And the... The sound quality, like this does a good job of blocking out wind and everything. I haven't used the light fixture because it was all recorded during the day. But yeah, this is like, I want to do more like vlog, blog style stuff. And like this channel is going to be getting a lot more attention because Fantasy Geographic isn't going to be taking my time for the time being, right? So it's a half decently long video. Like I'm, I'm not really planning on talking about everything, single thing that happens in it. But you know, I'll mention, I'll mention here or there the moments of extra interest. I go to the game store as well. Actually, you know what? That's something I did want to mention. The, um, the game store that I go to had its fucking door kicked in today. They smashed in the door and tried to rob the place. And on top of that happening, he already has, like, expenses going up. But he said, he's like, yo, 
I'm not going to, I'm not going to like post about this. Like when this kind of stuff happens, I see other people posting about it, but I'm not looking to try and get some kind of pity party going on for me. But I figured what I would do is if anybody wants to help the game store that I go to, you can, it's, you can send him money using the PayPal link in my description and that will count as store credit for me. So it helps the store, but it doesn't count as here's just charity because I feel sorry for you. You're supporting me and hooking him up. And I feel like that's an end run to get around his whole like, yo, I don't want to, I don't want to be trying to make people feel bad for me or whatever. But for real, they booted in his front door and obviously all that costs on him. Whatever degenerate that did it, if they get caught, it's not like you're going to be able to get any money out of them, right? So it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous all the random things that can happen. So yeah, if you want to, nobody, obviously nobody's got to, but if you want to, I'll, uh, here, you know what? I'll drop the, I think I've got it in my, the description here. Yeah. All right. If, if you would like to, then you can use this link right here. But that's up to you. All right. So the uh the overall vibe of this is the thing i need to worry about is like people being in the video i feel like so i tried to trim it here and there where people showed up so you'll notice there'll be somebody walking towards me and then there'll be like a cut when they get closer and then we'll be past them break stop used to work at a game store you got burgled by dudes who broke into the shop next door and broke down the wall that's crazy that's like movie level stuff Zeria, you're saying Canada's not real. Here's the footage. Here's the footage, son. James P says, also, don't forget the perp convention fundraising too. That's true, but that's not to the store PayPal. There is the, there is the Niagara Falls Comic Con as well. Thanks for the reminder, James P. Dominic says, great job putting up 40K lore video. The 40K community and the company actually care about it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. It's a fun comedy video. What's up? I don't see any footage. Ah, okay. I'm also trying to get tape. Oh, it's in all little pieces. So, yeah. Don't worry, I got skills. <laughs> what the hell, man? Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> I can see what's happening. I don't need you to tell me. I'm helping you. This is very helpful. What I'm doing. Yes, it is. I, my desk is in disrepair, so I need to tape it. <laughs> yeah, that desk is dope. We gotta protect it. Yeah, I thought your window danced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped and danced in my danced in my own little reflection there. Oh my god, this tape is cheap bullshit, bro. Did you do it? Oh my god. You damn right I did it, woman. Yeah, woo! Skills! Magic Thank fingers. You. Bah, 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 you know, bah, 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 you know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. You have to peel tape, but you can't see it, and then it's all breaking apart in the little tiny strips. The real reason they call me the magic historian is I got magic fingers, and I make problems. <laughs> History. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, guys. Oh, it's breakfast time now. You see that down here? You, if you check, you can actually see my fat little face leaning over the food sometimes to jam the egg into my mouth. <laughs> what up char how you doing Bo falcon what's up buddy so yeah overall this has some real potential right like when i go to the, i'm going to the comic con in june niagara falls comic con and uh, this, this will allow me to get more footage. Because otherwise, I'm sure I would just be distracted by things and forget. Because that's what's happened every time. I'm not good at it. Uh, come on, man. Oh. Plaid says, feels like you're the main character in a video game. I know, it's almost like having one of those, you know, in like... Uh, in like a sci-fi movie where they're like, yo, uh, you can like live somebody else's life through this synth reading or whatever, you know? 
It's like one of those. It's like one of those. So yeah, this turned out pretty sweet, man. Turned out pretty sweet overall. And it definitely increases my content creation abilities. This is something I've wanted for a while. So it's nice to finally have it. Of course, the SD card is a big problem. It did, like the most, the, the longest clip that I ended up with was an eight minute clip, but I wasn't starting and stopping it. This thing was just going, gah, gah. I don't know if you guys can see it on this size. So let me like, I'm gonna make it bigger for a second. You can see like, there's actually, see the snow flying by? Do you see all the snow flying by? Bo, it looks like it's got good stabilization. Yeah, but I mean, I paid a, I paid a lot of money for this. This kit was like eight hundred dollars, bro. Like <laughs> it was, it was expensive. But I've been longing for it. I wanted this specifically to solve a number of problems, and it's totally gonna. Do vlogs like people do with selfie sticks. That's what the other thing's for, man. I got the, uh, I got the sick, I got the sick stick. What? So walk along and do recordings with that as well. It's really cool, man. It's really cool. It's so funky. Technology is so amazing now. The camera quality, like I can just strap a camera to my chest and walk around. I didn't have to hold this. It was awesome. I just wanted to walk, listen to music, pull out my phone, change things up. Like, it's great. It's great. You know, the snow looks nice, but I don't, I can do without the cold, guys. I'm good without it, you know? Like, I've had enough already. James P., your buddy's starting a large convention in Indiana. Right on. So, yeah, actually, this footage will eventually end up at the game store. Because I did I did my, make my way to the game store. And there's a little bit of... Um, there's a little bit of audio specifically at that part. So, I'm going to see if I can get it to work when we get there. So, you guys can uh, hear it. Is this... Is this it? Is it going to blast loud? Hold on. Let's just move this downwards just in case. Just in case. <laughs> the scarf sometimes got in the way of the footage. Uh, what up, turtle? How's it going, buddy? You think I made the right move with the lore channel? I know I did. I know I did. While I feel bad for the people who genuinely want to enjoy the lore... And they, they're going to miss the videos that I make. I totally understand that and feel for them. I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't. The lore is too garbage. And I'm just going to end up making more mocking videos, which isn't what those people want anyway. So the sad truth is there's no way to give them what they want without me being fake and miserable. And I'm not going to do that for Magic the Gathering and some lore videos. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So most people are being really cool about it. And only one person was a, was an idiotic weirdo where I read his comment and went, bro, you're a fucking moron. And if you said this to my face, I'd be like, do you have brain damage? Cause for real, I just want to understand something. You're saying, Hey man, I've never seen you make a single positive video or comment about magic. And so maybe the problem's you. And it's like, bro, this says here that you've been subscribed to the magic, the gathering lore channel for two years and all these videos have positively been talking about the lore so you're subscribed to a channel that's specifically positive magic lore and you insist that i have you've never seen a positive video that i that's quite the feat how did you subscribe to the channel and never see any of the videos or are you just a fucking moron who doesn't recognize, wait, you mean if you talk happily about the lore and do the stories, that's you being positive about magic? Yeah, stupid. You brainless fuck. Like, what? 
So I just went, you know what? I don't even need this shit in my life. And I just fucking banned them. I'm like, have fun. If when fantasy Ge geographic comes back or whatever, however it works, guess who's not going to be able to fucking say shit? You dumb fuck. What the hell's the matter with you? Right? <laughs> oh, 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 we're coming to the part. Good day, shopkeep. Hi, welcome to Phoenix Rise. Can you hear him talking? How can I help you with your card gaming needs today? <laughs> I love your reaction to the camera. Pretty sweet, eh? There's a camera? Wow. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna... Oh, oops, that was wrong. I didn't mean to do that. What did I just do? Oh, no, it started over. Okay, hold on. I'm going to make it big because I think you guys should see that part. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, hold on. Oop, where was it? Oh. Okay. Good day, shopkeep. Hi, welcome to Phoenix Rising, sir. How can I help you with your card gaming needs today? <laughs> I love your reaction to the camera. Pretty sweet, eh? There's a camera? Wow, that's so odd. <laughs> that's how I greet all of my customers when they come to my fine gaming establishment. Don't show this to any of those fucking magic players. Those fucking nerds can go. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, that's where the sound ends. So, whoop. that's the uh, that's the that's the game store I'm talking about. Just today, their front door got bashed in and whatever. This is the place that I hang out at. It's my LGS. So again, if you guys want to help them out, you can send them money to the store PayPal. Counts a store credit for me, and then I get to get some stuff too. Everybody wins. Speaking of winners, Pale Moogle Super Chat says, Thanks for sticking with it so long. I love those lore videos, especially the old lore stuff, and will definitely occasionally re-watch them. I'm very happy that the catalog of lore videos that I've made exist and for people to enjoy. And I'm also happy to not have to make them for the time being because it's very frustrating. So I've got four years worth of lore videos for people to enjoy. And I know there's some people who are like, just do the old lore. It's like, I'm taking a full on break. That's it. That's it. Dominic says, he's a nice store owner. Please give him this donation instead of you. Ah, uh, no, no. You know what, buddy? I'm going to take the money you just gave me. I'm going to buy jelly rolls and I'm going to rub them on my asshole. How about that? How about that? Gerthu, someone tried to bash the door. No, they successfully smashed the glass on the door. They like kicked through it. They didn't make it through. They bloodied themselves on the on smashing the glass and then just left with a huge gaping hole in the door so that he could come into work five hours early for he gets called and it's like, oh yeah, you need to come into your business because somebody kicked in your <laughs> kicked in your door. Well, not kicked, well, kicked a hole in the door. They didn't get in. They didn't manage to get in and steal stuff. So that is nice, right? The fact that he didn't actually get robbed. But like, bro, all these random things. Oh, some scuzzbag piece of crap goes ahead and breaks your door. And now you just have to pay for it with no recourse. You can't sue them. You can't do anything because degenerates who are doing that have nothing. It's like when it's like when I got attacked in the park and the fucking um, the, the district attorney or whatever he's called, the guy in charge, the crown prosecutor asked like, do you want to try and like sue this guy or whatever? And I'm like, what's the point of wasting everybody's time? He's literally got nothing for sure. So we're just going to end up wasting everybody's time, right? Uh, the guy was like, yeah, that's probably how it will go. You know, so thanks. <laughs> it's, it's all good. You're doing your job. It's not your fault that degenerates who are incapable of making things right are out there causing problems. Damien, what did we do? We got epic camera action to move us into the next generation of content. Pierce, your LGS got broken into a few weeks ago. Thief stole all the Karlov Manor boxes and a few other items cost more in glass damage than lost product. It's brutal, bro. That's an excellent point too. The game store, you can see the Markov Manor stuff is marked right down. He's selling every box under what it cost him. He's losing money on all the Markov Manor products that he sells. It's brutal. It's brutal. 
Bo, did I get the Neil Patrick Harris game? No. But I looked at it and went, wait, it's a game buy one for one? That seems really cool. I think it's like 50 bucks though. So I just looked at it and put it back on the shelf, right? <laughs> I, uh, I spent a ton on this camera and stuff. So it's kind of like, hey, hey, I gotta, I gotta not buy any, like I, this is my, this is all my frivolity, you know? It's, I, hey, 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 hey. But you know what? If people do decide to send some stuff over to the store and I got store credit, well, there's nothing to stop me from gra grabbing a board game like that off the shelf, right? And that one was curious to me. And with that kind of stuff, that's also, I was thinking about doing like board game reviews, things of that nature on this channel. Anyhow, I've already done some of that in the past, but either way, I'm amping up what we're doing here. I got the camera to do it, man. That footage was sweet, wasn't it? Bino, when your local was robbed, they went straight for power and duels. It's brutal. It's brutal, man. <laughs> Wingspan Collectors Juglum says, that's funny. Dark Knight, we're talking about a new era of awesome camera quality. I mean, I guess I can just put it back on. Why not? I can have it playing down in the corner, right? When people come in and go, what's going on? I can be like, this is what's going on. Let's make sure the volume's off so when it gets to the talking part, it's not confusing. Zeria, yep. If they if they know to target those, then they know something specifically about the game. They're not just grabbing sealed boxes. They're grabbing. I mean, if they have price tags on them as well, though. Hmm. Am I gonna take the five dollar card in the display case or the five hundred dollar? I can see more zeros. So you know, it, de <laughs> it depends. Dominic's building is in an old police station, and you have a jail. That's amazing. <laughs> Come on down to Dominic's Dungeon for magic and prison sex. <laughs> Get fucked in a game of magic and then in a jail cell. <laughs> An up-and-coming LGS in Halifax had someone drive through the front window. What? That's crazy, random. That's nuts. What up, Peterson? How you doing? Be no insurance payout. No, he would have said something like that. Unless you're talking about a different place. In which case, then, yeah, I hope they got their insurance paid out too. You, If it was a smash and grab, you wouldn't think they'd target singular cards, but boxes of product? Hmm, do I take a sealed box that has fucking serial numbers that can be tracked? Or do I take individual cards that as soon as I leave the building, you can't fucking prove they were yours ever? Because they don't have serial numbers, and you don't have pictures of identifying marks, so you're just fucked. Like, magic singles, you can't prove those ever belonged to you. You can't. It's not possible. You can show them pictures that say, look, I had all these, and they'll be like, Okay, can you prove that these are the ones? Well, no. Well, the police need evidence. They're not allowed to just go, well, the guy said they were his, so we just said, okay, cool. You got to have something, right? CPAC, am I going to watch the eclipse? Yes, we got eclipse glasses for it. We got some some of them eclipse glasses. Actually, if you watch at the part in this video when I'm at the game store, I'll hold up the eclipse glasses because they sell them there. Hmm. Oni, you'd never want me to be fake. I just burn myself out. You're you're right, bro. You're right. I like I feel for the people who like the lore stuff. I feel it, but I know that I would just make stuff mocking it now, and then that would be a different scenario, right? I still can't get over that moron who was just like, I've never seen anything positive from you. What are you talking about? All these lore videos are negative? They're just telling the story. You're a crackhead. Thompson, good to see me tonight. Hope my day went well. My day fucking sucked. <laughs> my day sucked. I went to my favorite game store. The door was fucking kicked in. I get on the fucking bus home. And some fucking clown is sitting there up at the fucking front of the bus. Some fucking degenerate. He's got his fucking hat. And he thinks he's fucking slick. So he's going like this with his hat in front of his face. And I'm like, is that guy vaping or smoking? And then I see something come off the shirt. And I'm all the way at the back of the bus. And I'm like, yo! 
What are you doing? You can't smoke on the bus! Like, for real. Like, what the fuck, man? Just because there's a bunch of old ladies and young girls around you who won't say shit, I will, motherfucker! Are you kidding me right now, you fucking piece of shit? Get off the fucking bus! I didn't say any of that, right? All I said was, Hey, what are you doing? You can't smoke on the bus! And then I just sat there, and I saw the bus driver kind of looking back, trying to figure what was going on, and I was like... I was ready to do some more yelling or whatever else. But the guy just kind of looked a bit sheepish after that. And then he like kind of packed it all away in a backpack. And I was just staring over at him. And he looked at me after a bit and went, thanks. And I gave him a nod and left it at that. And then Carl, I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, right. He was thanking me. And Carly's like, you know, sometimes people will thank you when you call them out and they need to be called out and appreciated. And I thought back, I've actually had people say that to me. We're like, yo, bro. Thank you for calling me out. Like, at first, they have that knee-jerk reaction, but then they came back later and were like, bro, like, the one guy, he would always be late for magic events. I'm running magic events, and he's five minutes. He's five minutes late every single time. A hundred percent. Like, every single time, he's, like, five minutes late. And so, there's some round that's going on, and he comes up to me, because I'm the one who runs the tournaments, and he goes, are these guys at time yet? And I'm like, nope. And he's like, you need to hurry this up, blah, blah. And I'm like, you need to shut the fuck up, dude. Like, for real. The last person I want to hear complaining about time is you. Let me fucking explain something to you, asshole. There's 20 fucking people in this building coming here to play. Not even including me. So you show up five minutes every fucking time late consistently, which means you could be here on time. I know you don't have a job you're coming from. I know what your life is like. So you're here five minutes late just because you fucking can. And guess what, asshole? If you take that five minutes and spread it across all fucking 20 people here, what do you get? A hundred minutes. An hour and 40 fucking minutes, bro. So if you think I give a shit about your couple minutes and what you're crying about, you need to shut the fuck up. And he's like, ugh. Hey, fuck you, man, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. And he walks off all angry, but what happens is he comes back later and goes, sorry, I sorry, I got upset at you. You're right. Yeah, I am right, motherfucker. That's what happens. When I yell at people, I'm right. I don't yell at people when I'm not right. So they come back and go, hey, you were right. Sorry. Yeah, fucking smarten up, bro. Respect other people's time. You know how you value yours? Everybody's times matter. You ain't special, bitch. Especially not to me when you treat everybody else with this disrespect. So, fuck off. Stop showing up late because you're out blazing or whatever it is. You're not special. You don't get to show up late and then demand things move at your fucking pace, you ignorant bitch. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. CPAC, do I have to travel? I don't think so. No, it should just it should just happen here. It should just happen here. Mill master, perps and narc. Yeah, yeah. If you smoke crack or whatever else, like if you're doing that in a place I am, yeah, I'm gonna yell at you. I'm gonna yell at you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Broccoli, don't be fucking racist, first of all. Don't be racist. And yeah, I can fucking yell at people however I want. When they're acting up. That's what I'm going to do. I don't give a fuck what you think. Because that's what people need. So, yeah. Dragon Raider. Love the lore vids. But if there's no love in the story, what's the point of covering it? It's a good question. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, man. People just fucking act like jagoffs. And it's like, better not say anything to anybody. Because what if somebody gets upset and attacks you? I've been attacked, all right? It's fucking happened. Guess what? I'm still going to call people out because they fucking need it. That's how it works. It's fucking obnoxious. Gotta be careful these days. People are unpredictable. Yeah, I have absolutely no fucking sense of anything. And I can't tell if I'm in a dangerous situation. And I better not. You know what? I, I probably shouldn't go outside anymore. Because you never know. What if you look at somebody the wrong way? What if they don't like the color of your hair? What if you breathe in the wrong way? What if you're walking down the street when someone else is having a bad day? Oh no, let me shrink away from any possible confrontation out of the fear that something bad might happen to me and let old ladies and young women have to baste in degenerate smoke because I'm too much of a fucking pussy to say something. So sorry I'm not willing to be a little bitch out of fear. Oh no, I better not mouth off to any degenerate in case they all attack me. 
I might surprise you. Somebody might get a key jammed in their eye if they fucking come at me. That's all I'm saying, son. That's all I'm saying. I ain't out to hurt anybody, but I also ain't fucking easy meat, bitch. So I ain't gonna fucking pretend like I am. Fuck that. Fuck that. Hide away from everything just in case. You're not strong enough for this. You're weak and pathetic, Mike, so don't fucking do that. Fuck you. I ain't listening to that. I ain't listening to it. Fucking society where everybody just fucking worries about themselves. How the fuck do you think we got where we are? By caring about each other. And if caring about people and trying to help them ends up with me getting in a problem, well, at least I'm not a weak little bitch who's afraid to try and fucking help people. Have fun living your weak little life where you don't do nothing for anybody else. Fuck that shit. I wasn't fucking raised that way, and it ain't okay. And society is getting actively fucking worse. But you know what? Let's just fucking let everybody get fucked up by it. Nobody look out for each other. Why do we need hospitals or police officers? It's every man for themselves. Fuck you. Sell your kid for a cheeseburger. Bro, I'm fucking squirreled up right now, all right? I've lost family members. This shit ain't easy. Maybe I'm spoiling a little more to get into somebody like with something. But I, all I did was say, don't smoke on the fucking bus. And I, watch yourself. I don't need it. I don't need to fucking hear it for real. I don't need internet mothers. Like for real, man, I give a shit. People fucking matter and I ain't abandoning them out of fear. I don't give a fuck. Being no LGS staff needs to be stern. <laughs> There's different approaches. I don't care if the staff doesn't want to do that, but like they need to run the tournaments on time. That's the thing. If you leave, if you tell me a tournament starts at 6.30 and I'm waiting for some assholes to show up at 6.50 and then you go, oh yeah, they're here. They're just eating. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. We're starting the fucking tournament. What are you talking about they're eating? They can eat before they come. They can eat between rounds. When they can't eat is right now when we all want to play. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic says paying 50 bucks by PayPal for any degenerates to look at your face when he's waiting for the bus. <laughs> Chris B, fear is an illusion. Fear is very real, but you can't let it rule you, bro. And if you realize that, like, you can't ignore fear and go, fear is not a thing, because then you'll feel like there's something wrong with you when you're afraid. I'm not supposed to be afraid. It makes sense to be afraid in some situations. Like when my fucking door got busted in, and we had to worry about that maniac, and I'm trying to move all my stuff out, so I've got to keep on guard to protect my lady and all the fucking movers and shit. I was afraid, but I stood my fucking ground. That's what bravery is. Bravery isn't having brain damage that makes you not afraid. Bravery is going, this isn't comfortable. But I'm going to do what's right and I'm going to take care of people. That, like fear is real. It exists and it's actually a useful thing. But like you can't let it rule you. You can't let it rule you. It's like when I got fucking attacked in the park. The next day I was back out in society interacting with people. Making sure that I wasn't going to retreat into fear. You know? Oh, eclipse glasses. You'll see them at some point during this clip. Oni, I know the bus guy had it coming. I've called out a bunch of people over the years and they all had it coming. Some dickhead in the fucking line at McDonald's starts yelling at the people up at the counter and I go, hey, shut your fucking mouth. Stop yelling at the workers. We're all stuck here in the line waiting to get our food. Oh, I can yell at them if I want. Then I can yell at you too, you fucking moron. Do you see how that works? And that's what I'm gonna do now. Shut your fucking face you fucking moron. We're all stuck in the line. You're not special. Nobody gives a fuck about you. And everybody behind the counter is working their ass off. So fuck off. How the fuck are you a full grown adult and you're acting like this, bro? So yeah, guess what? You've given me free license to tell you to go fuck yourself over and over and over until you shut your fucking face 
so we can all just get our food, bro. I'm hungry too. Shut the fuck up. I'm stuck in the line behind a moron who doesn't understand how society works. How the fuck have you been alive this long? Oh, I'm sorry, Buttercup. Are you hungry so you're going to throw a fit? Shut up, idiot. Get the fuck out of here, right? Like, for real. And then I get up to the front and I have to apologize to the people working there going, yo, sorry I was yelling and freaking out or whatever. And guess what they always say? Thanks for telling them to go fuck themselves because that's what they deserve. The workers can't do it. Bro, I fucking hate it. I hate how people treat low-level minimum wage workers. I can yell on you whatever because your life is so desperate that you can't afford to fucking say shit back to me. That's garbage, man. And I don't care whether you're a dude or a fucking chick. I remember this chick in the pizza pizza being a bitch and I just couldn't help myself. I was like, yo, is that what your voice actually sounds like? Because she was like, oh, this pizza is disgusting. All this shit she was saying. I'm like, is that how your voice sounds like for real? Because that's rough. And she's just like, excuse me? I'm like, you're a fucking bitch, just so you know. And I went off on her. It was great. It feels good because they have it coming. So it's just like, yo, yo, you need to hear this. Is it making you upset? Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself, right? Do stuff, do I think others have a lot more fear than me? Nope. I think probably most people have a probably roughly equal amount of fear. I've never given much thought to how much fear particular people feel. It just seems relatively uniform, aside from people who have broken brains, right? People who are emotionally disconnected. Gianna, you don't need crack to be brave. Bravery isn't having an absence of fear. That's your brain not functioning properly. Bravery is the ability to overcome fear. I remember for the longest time, I didn't think I was brave at all. But I've looked back at the things I've done. No, I am fucking brave. In situations that were dangerous and scary, I stood my ground and took care of people. I made sure nobody got fucking hurt and got it resolved, right? Even, even when the fucking apart, my apartment got busted into, I made sure that situation got resolved with even the offending party not getting injured because that's how good a fucking person I am. Fear isn't the issue, it's the response to it. Bingo, Millmaster gets it. Millmaster gets it. Zeria, people that make other people's jobs harder because they're entitled piss me right off. Yeah, it sets me off too. And I've got the capability to tell them exactly fucking why in a way that's obnoxious and they deserve it. For real. I remember fucking the one guy, there's a building, there was a house beside this building that I lived in. And a tree fell on the house. So the city had to pay to fucking fix the guy's house. And he had contractors coming. And he was being a complete asshole to contractors trying to steal their wood and stuff. And I already hated that guy because... I asked him for a bag once. I took my dog out for a walk and I didn't have a bag with me. I thought I had one in my pocket, but I didn't. So I realized I didn't have a bag and I walked over to him and said, hey, I forgot to bring a bag out to clean this up. You wouldn't happen to have a bag with you, would you? All hey, right, you have to have a bag to clean that up. Y yes, I'm aware of that. You have to clean. Listen, buddy, listen. Do you see how I came up to you and said, I forgot a bag and I'm looking for a bag? That means that I'm trying to clean it up, you fucking moron. Right? And that was the end of that conversation. And then I just left. But I'm smoking out on the balcony, looking at him, treating these fucking guys like this. And so <laughs> I walk, I'm on my way to work. And I just stop on the sidewalk. I'm like, yo, yo, bro, I was working on this. Just so you know, this guy's a fucking worthless dick prickhead. Fuck him. And I just started talking shit about him. And he's like, fuck you. Fuck you. Get out of here. And he's like, bro, I'm standing on the sidewalk. This ain't your property. Suck my fucking dick, you clown. And like, he's just getting more. I'm like, oh, no. You're so mad. You're a worthless dick. Just so you know, bro. Fuck you every way possible. And then I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I've am i got plenty of time. I'll stand here for as long as I want. What about it? What about it? And I, and then I'm like, oh, you know what? Guess it's time to go to work. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. And then every time I saw him, however far away, I'd start going, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Just all the way down the fucking sidewalk. He sold the house. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, you piece of shit. You miserable sack of fucking garbage. I spend my time trying to make people's days better. That's what I do. And you're out here being a miserable bitch. I try and make people laugh every day fucking day every day i'm giving shit to people this guy's giving shit of a different variety what kind of dog did i have back then it was a cockapoo fears are always more numerous than dangers yeah your brain's just trying to keep you alive it's just trying to keep you okay right
It's ridiculous, man. You know, my, my senses may not always be 100% keyed into everything because I did get kicked in the park, right? So clearly, clearly I can sometimes not be 100% aware of the situation that I'm in like anybody. But for real, man, it's fucking absurd. And I can't, I can't take people telling me I shouldn't try and help other people because something bad might happen to me. That's crazy. You know? It's crazy. If you let fear rule you, your life's going to fucking suck, man. So I went back to the park the day after I got booted in the head. That's why when I sat beside that dude on the bench and he's this far away from me, and I could, I've never felt this before. My body was vibrating. Like, get him away from you. Get him away from you or get you away from him. And I was like, no, we're not doing this, brain. Chill the fuck out. This guy is a normal, everyday citizen, just like every normal day citizen. How many times has this happened to you? Once in over 40 years. And you're going to act like this is everybody now? That's insane. You can't do this. You can't do this. So I literally had to go out that day and go, you are not going to let the fear stop you from living your life. That's it. That's it. It's crazy. It's crazy. Do stuff. Why do I think he never gave me a bag? I assume he didn't have a bag, but we didn't get to that point because this is some, he, he just feels like clearly he's unhappy in life and people who are unhappy in life will seize on opportunities where they feel like they have the right to bitch at somebody. So because I have violated society by not picking up after my dog, he is therefore entitled to treat me poorly. That is the kind of mentality that people have. This guy smoking on the bus, I talked to him harshly, but in a very one sentence, I didn't go off. I didn't insult him. I didn't go, what are you doing? You fucking idiot loser, right? I just went, yo man, you can't smoke on the bus. That's it. That's the right level. That's how you do it, right? DJ Long's, Longhair says, the Dune Litany for fear works. I'll have to take your word for it. I have no idea what that means. You know who else can't sense their situation around them? Kellen. <laughs> The real prison's in your mind, friends. That's where we all end up getting trapped. And it's easy to do. Like, it's hard to keep a, a positive and healthy mind state under the best of circumstances. And none of us get to live under the best of circumstances, right? Like, my stress levels have been fucking through the roof the last number of days. I'm stress eating. Like, there was a guy smoking inside the bus stop when I was coming up to the bus stop. And I saw him smoking in it. And like, but he stepped out, he wasn't in there smoking when I was in there. And by the time I got in there, you could barely smell any smoke. So I didn't say anything to him, even though part of me was like, I should tell him, don't. And it's just like, listen, man, you're stressed out. You're upset. Who cares that this guy smoked inside the wind sheltered bus area? It's cold out. There's nobody in it. So he didn't hurt anybody. So why would you, why? Like the only reason you would do that is to make yourself feel better by acting out towards somebody. Don't do that. You're like, yeah, you're stressed about your family, but don't treat this dude like that because who cares? Who cares? You've never smoked somewhere you're not supposed to. I have, so whatever, right? Like, you got to find the balance. So that guy I didn't say shit to, but the guy who's smoking on the bus, I did. And I kept it within the normal, acceptable range. Zeria says, in the words of Alucard, fuck the fear turkey. Wait, what? Is that, what's that from? Is that from... What was it that I saw? What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of something with, with that's in the right pen. I'm thinking of something with the, uh, my brain wants to say Hunter x Hunter, but it's not Vampire Hunter D, something like that. I think that's what it was. Zeria, you're the new Lord of the board. Thanks for the super chat. Helsing abridged. Oh, is that the one where it's like bitches love cannons or something like that? <laughs> bitches love rocket launchers. Alfonso, what's up, buddy? Call, I'm coming to check in on my spirits. They are what they are, man. 
I'm not going to pretend like I'm not struggling, but we're here to have a good time. It's been jokes and ranting, basically. That's it. Get that bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, man, it's funny. People on the internet are ridiculous. There's people who want to pretend like I'm a bad guy because of something I've said that's upset them or whatever. But ultimately, I don't really do anything negative to anybody. I try and treat people with respect. And I offer a branch of humor friendship to almost everybody I meet. You know, it's just my nature. It's, that's who I am. So whatever. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Right? Uh, DJ Longhair, it's on YouTube, so you can find it real, real easy. Real, real easy. Uh. So yeah, man, I didn't, I didn't sleep well, and my head's been in a really hard place today. Like, I've just been trying to... I've been trying to fucking keep it together, really, you know? Fucking exercising and whatever else to distract my mind, working on that, that uh, Warhammer lore video. Miller says, you only say negative things equals my mind only remembers negative things you said. Like that guy who's like, I've never seen anything positive from you ever. Well, you must be an insanely negative person then if YouTube has never shown you anything positive I've done. Either you're an extremely negative person or an idiot and a liar. And I know which one I think it is. And I don't think you're a negative person. I think you're a fucking clown. That shit. I, what? You've been watching lore videos on this channel for two years, you fucking Magoo idiot? And they're not positive? What do you think these are? These count as neutral. I need a picture of you sucking Chris's last name. Okay. I definitely want you around and value your opinion. You're too fucking stupid to feed yourself as far as I'm concerned. I fucking hate. I hate being spoken to negatively by morons. It drives me crazy. Where I'm like, bro, do you not even see how fucking stupid you are? You typed two sentences and betrayed that your brain doesn't even fucking function. You know what? The only saving grace of this is the fact that I'm not you. Because it must suck to be so fucking stupid that you don't even realize how much of a moron you make yourself look like. People might go, oh, he's a negative dickhead. But people aren't like, wow, he's unintelligent. Nobody's going around going, he's a fucking idiot. Was that beep beep zip zip zorp zorp oh beasles beasles with the paypal super chat sd action oh here's the forge jail video <laughs> all right i'll check that out later that'll be fun beasles thanks bro appreciate it that sd card is a priority Scorba guys, yep, that's true, exactly. Negative remembering negative stuff helps you survive. That that's part of what does it. So people are fucking ridiculous. People are ridiculous. It's their nature. I'm looking to see. Did you say something in the chat that I missed Beasley at all? find any I know I said hello to you at the beginning I can't find any comments from you in here bro now I'm like are you even in the stream I'm tripping I'm tripping dog where where where, where are what am I just having like a seizure in my brain where how are you doing this how are you hiding I swear I read that right, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? What 
What is going on? <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, I will put you up on the board. And I'm sure I'll see the next comment you made because I can't. What's going on? Hey, Brody Alfonso with the little fox sticker. Thanks, buddy. Siri says, I finally got on the board and I'm there in less than five minutes, you bastard. It's a bloodthirsty battle for domination. <laughs> VT suffering builds character. That's true. That's true. Garthu, how'd I do with the anime recommendations? Well, they're written down somewhere, but we're watching The Promised Neverland right now, which is a bummer show, honestly. So I probably could benefit from watching something less bummerish, but it's got an interesting dynamic to it. It's the idea behind it is you've essentially got a human farm and the power dynamics of it are a bunch of children against just a lady. Really? It doesn't have like, but that lady is back. Like there's just all the underlying implications and power. Like, I don't want to spoil what it is in case you want to check it out, but it's, it's an interesting power dynamic exploration. Oh, Alfonso says, well, Mike, I need you to know you've helped me a bunch in starting a channel. I hope you get yourself a snack and keep doing what you do. Well, I'm glad that I was able to help and that you uh, decided to branch out into using your own proper name instead of being a bootleg, you know? It's better this way. It's better this way. Your wife watches that and she said she can only watch it in the day. It's, uh... It's heavy. It is heavy, but it's also compelling. You know, it's just like, okay. And they, sometimes it's a little bit slow. Sometimes it can be a bit boring, but overall it's pretty wild conceptually. Oh, so yeah, man. I know I'm more reactive than usual. I can feel it. I can feel things frustrating, frustrating me more easily. And I don't want to end up like being a dickhead to people and fucking lashing out over things, just misinterpreting them or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah right hi we're contacting you about your youtube channel uh will you do a video in exchange for a lamp what i love these companies that are like that hi um we consider giving you the product to be payment no 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 the product is what you want me to show off that has to be included but you have to fucking pay me no, but like, though that one company, we're going to send you a chair and you have to do a video and pay us $50 shipping. Fuck you. You're reaching out to me for advertising. You fucking pay. And no, what you're giving me isn't payment unless it's something I actively want. Like when the fucking silver coin people contacted me, we're like, hey, can we give you a silver coin and you mention it? Not do a dedicated video. Just will you mention it? Yeah, you can send me a silver coin and I'll mention it because I want that silver coin and it seems cool. That counts as payment. But no, sending me some stupid random lamp. Hey, work for us for free. Fuck you. Come mow my lawn, suck my dick and give me five bucks, asshole. See, I can do that too. Chris B says, love the stream. Hope your stress melts away. <laughs> Much love. P.S. I'm not the guy from the bus. It's all good. Everybody in here is chill. You know? The people who come to the streams are chill. The ones who aren't, they don't end up sticking around because they straight up just get ignored. They come by and try and be like, Hey, you're stupid! And I just don't even react because I don't fucking care. And then, oh, I guess I'll just leave. Yep, yeah, you wasted your time. You could have been part of something awesome and had a great time and been enjoying every day, but... Now you just get to leave and be a loser. So have fun with that. It's 
so yeah, these these sponsorships were the look. How about we just they're like no, your lamp is fucking garbage. That's it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we send you the product. Sometimes I'm tempted to say, sure, send me the product, and then just not do a video. What are you gonna do? Fucking sue me? Not even in the same country. You can't do shit. Go ahead. Try and do anything. It's like the body pillow people. They're like, yo, we'll send you a body pillow, but if you don't do a video, you gotta send it back. Good luck making me. Do you know what I mean? How are you going to make me? I don't even live in the same country as you. And if we did, this would be small claims court shit. So have fun. I mean, I'm not the kind of guy who would do that, but I could real easy, right? Like when those stupid worthless assholes from Japan anime contacted me and they were like, hey, we want to send you out this board game to review and you work for us for free. Also, you don't get to keep the copy of the game. We'll send you labels and you have to send it off to somebody else. Are you high? Are you, like, I was this close to going, yeah, send it out. And then I just go, oh, it, it never showed up. Oh, it says you picked it up. Weird. I never did. And then just keep it. Just be like, thanks. I'm not going to talk about it. I don't even care about it. But you've insulted me enough that I want to fuck you over. For real. Fuck you. My time has value. Who the fuck are you going to come to me? I got to work for you for free? It's bullshit. Especially, you're not even offering me the game. You're not offering me nothing. Sorry that I'm not some pathetic fucking loser. Oh my God, I can't believe you're even talking to me. No, fuck you. What I do has value, all right? I, like, if I'm going to sell out, I'm going to get money. I'm going to get something. Bullshit. Malin Jam doesn't matter to me if the next magic lore is worse. I don't cover it anymore. So who cares? I'll just read and go, psh, psh, whatever. I can shit on it. I no longer have to take something awful and try and shine it up and polish it for people. I don't have to wade through the garbage and go, how do I make this palatable for people? How do I tolerate the hours and hours I'm pouring into this? And then the fact that Carly's got to deal with it and we both don't like it. I'm free. I'm free. I'm not doing that. And nope, not 40K lore. That's not coming either. That was a comedy video. That was a comedy video. That's not the launch of a whole big line of 40K. No, no, no. The next video is probably going to be me sucking down chubbies or something else. Like, fuck it. I'm making goofy, fun shit that maybe only 12 people watch. But who fucking cares? I could drop dead tomorrow. I could be gone fucking three days from now like my fucking aunt was, right? Oh, for all I know, I could have fucking two tumors that are about to end me. Some were buried in me like my fucking uncle. So whatever, man. Shit, like fucking reapers hanging around. What, am I going to worry about little fucking bitches? They're not going to fucking like what I do. I'm not giving them what they want. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make whatever the fuck I want that makes my soul sing that fucking that video for Warhammer 40k is hilarious I laughed so hard making it but it's gonna do abysmally it's gonna do abysmally and drag down the numbers on the on the channel it's it's negative for the numbers but I don't fucking care I don't want to have to always worry about the fucking numbers and balancing shit why can't I just make what I fucking want you know so that's the attitude that's what I'm doing I'm making whatever the fuck I want, and I don't care if nobody gets it, because I get it. Do stuff. The last couple of sponsors are pretty good, like the Metal Wallet. Well, I'm glad you liked them, buddy. And yeah, the Ridge Wallets are great. I have two of them now. They can't, It was really neat that they came back and were like, yo, we had a sponsorship last year. Let's do it again. We'll do two videos this time. And I'm like, hell yeah. And they're like, do you want more Ridge Wallet? I'm like, yes, please. Especially the key case. Because I was worried the key case is going to break. And I love the key case. I don't, I don't want to have to replace it. You know what I mean? So having a replacement is great. That's fucking sweet. That's sweet. And the, yeah, the sponsorships have been, have been dope. I've been very happy with them. It's nice. It makes me, it makes me feel nice that companies are like, yo, you're worth paying money to. And here's the product. And I choose the ones that are worth dealing with. Because I don't deal with all of them, right? There's a bunch that I just refuse to deal with. So. <sighs> Have I ever sampled tasty cakes? Is that a thing? Mountain Jam, more of the real 40k lore. Things like that will be coming, but the, the I don't have any more plans for 40k lore at this juncture, right? Like, my understanding of 40k is only so deep. And I knew some stuff about the Emperor, but 
I don't know stuff about, I'm not interested in having to do a bunch of research for a comedy video. It doesn't make it easy to bounce the fucking comedic shit around. The reason this Emperor video exists is because I was literally sitting on the bus on the way downtown, just like making it up in my head as I went along going, oh my God, oh my God, she's going to call him Doug. His name's going to be Doug because she dug getting banged by those shamans. That's amazing. That's amazing. They're going to run a 3000 man psychic train on her. This is incredible. Like I was making myself laugh thinking about it. That's why that video exists. So for real, uh, like don't expect more of anything I make, I guess. Cause I'm not like, I don't care that YouTube is going to fucking punish me for it because they're going to go, your regular viewers aren't coming back to watch this. I can't care about that right now. I need to make stuff that makes me laugh. I fucking need it. I need it. Scorba guys, do you think Ridge Wallets are one of the actual good products that have ads all over YouTube? Yeah, it's not a garbage product at all. Zerio, uh, uh. you'll never forgive me for declining your OnlyFans sponsorship. <laughs> That's funny. You heard they were a Canadian thing? I, I've never heard of them. I've never heard of them. That doesn't mean they're not here. Red Dead, you only drove 20 times in your life and you survived all week. Good job. Driving can, depending on the situation. I remember skidding out on ice and stuff. Thankfully, I had taken a driving course that teaches you the counterintuitive steer into it because I definitely would have been bah, 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 trying to do all these adjustments, right? So, <coughs> <coughs> Zircon, you've been having nerve issues with your hands. The key case makes unlocking your door a ton easier. Oh, that's awesome. I never even considered that possibility. I, I just love it for like the keeping my keys all organized so they're not scratching up my phone and all like poking holes in my pockets because I've lost keys that way. So that's sweet. There's another way. That's true, Clayton. They do cost. They, they definitely do cost. DJ Longer says, when on YouTube did you start getting sponsorship requests? I've seen plenty of the scammy ones, like ones without the product in the email name. Um, about 10K. About ar around 10K subscribers, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful. Tons of them, tons of them are fucking scammy, bro. My recommendation to you, thanks for the super chat, by the way. My recommendation to you and, and anybody, anybody, like really, I guess just in everyday life now, even if you're not a YouTuber at, at all, have yourself a dead zone. It can be a phone. It can be a tablet. It doesn't have to be new at all because all it has to do is be something you can email to. So whenever you get sent something, sent something you think is sketchy, you send it to the dead zone and you open it there. And on the dead zone, you make sure that, that that's formatted. It has none of your personal information on it at all, right? So I auto, I automatically forward sponsorship requests and shit like that over to my tablet, which is got nothing on it. All I've ever done is play Animal Restaurant with Carly and read comics on it. So even if somebody was able to take control of it, which is not gonna be easy, but even if they did, they're only going to get access to an email account that goes, Carly needs your help sautéing stuff in the cat restaurant. So there's no information to get, but you can't get hosed, right? So that has protected me. I have absolutely sent emails to that tablet that were scams, multiples of them. So it's protected me on multiple occasions. Don't take anything for granted, no matter how legit it looks, especially in this new era of burgeoning AI. The rule is never click links on anything but the dead zone. That's it. Never click links. One click is all it takes to lose everything. That's all it takes. One wrong click. It's happened to a whole bunch of people. So not me though. Not me. There's a lot of different, there's a lot of different things that I use to determine whether one is fake or real, but I'm going to be real. Half the time I can't tell the real ones because a lot of real sponsorships aren't brought to you by professionals who know how to present it to you. So you can get like the difference between a scam email and a real one sometimes can be the scam emails actually look more professional. Uh, 
Alfonso, you like the Warhammer 40k Emperor of Mankind video? 100% accurate. I think it's great. I, I had a lot of fun making it. For real. For real. VT, what? You haven't needed keys because you live in a town where most people don't lock their doors? We're all going to VT's house to take his stuff. They're just uh, The rule here is if the door is unlocked, the stuff inside is yours. Legend of Zelda rules. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm struggling, my friends. I am struggling, but it's all going to be all. It's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. You know, it's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. That's right, Taysen. Legend of Zelda does rule. How you doing, bro? What do I think about the guys who do search engine optimization pitching to help market my YouTube channel? I operate on a shoestring budget. A hundred percent. Like I had to take multiple sponsorships and whatever to just to be able to get this, right? Like I'm very limited in what I can purchase because most of the money that I make has to pay for living expenses and stuff because I've made the active choice to try and be a full-time entertainer so I can make whatever I want whenever I want. If I had a nine to five job, I'd have way less time for creating. So it's that trade-off, which means I have to be careful with my money and balance it. So anybody who's offering me services that cost money, it's an automatic no. It doesn't matter what it is. When they're like, um, actually I had a guy contact me about, he's like, I'll help you build a mailing list. I'm just trying to like build out my, my client profile because I did this in person, but now I'm doing it online. And I'm just like, I can't get involved with this because I don't know you. Even if you're legit, I don't know that. You could just, if you're going to build the mailing list, then you're basically asking for me to give you the contact information of all my fans. Like, I'm not going to do that. And then I got other people who are like, I looked at your thumbnails and they're no good. And I can do your thumbnails for money. Oh, my thumbnails are no good? Huh, could have fooled me. I got tens of thousands of people watching the videos. But go off about how I should be paying you for this after you've insulted what I do myself. I mean, in one way, you're not wrong. Maybe my thumbnails aren't the most banger and they could be improved. But if you think I'm paying you to do it, you're out of your fucking mind. Go fuck yourself, right? Like that's when I read it, I'm like, no. Especially since when I make my videos, I want them out right away. When I got to fucking contact you and be like, can you make me a thumbnail? With these? Whatever you can do, I can do. I promise you that. I just don't care enough to have learned it yet. So no, I don't need your help making a picture. Fuck off. I don't say that to them. I just, whatever. You're trying to run your business. I have no idea how legit this is or whatever. I ignore it all. And they'll be like, hello? I'll be like, I'm not, no, no. I don't owe you a response. Do you know how many fucking people want a part of my time and you're trying to get money from me and my time? Fuck you. Right? Hi, I just figured if I blanket spammed you that you would hire me. Why? Why would I hire you? I can show you examples of my work. Can you though? Is it your work? Do you have video of you making this? Do I have to spend time vetting whether you can even do this and then I have to give you money? I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. Oni, does it help when YouTube premium accounts watch streams? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Actually, the great thing about YouTube premium is, let's say I put out a video where I say, fuck your mother 80 times in it and YouTube goes, demonetized. It's not full demonetization, which means if you have a premium account, then I still get a little bit of money. It doesn't pay the same as like advertising, but it's based on the amount of time you watch. So if you're a YouTube premium user and you're watching my live streams that are an hour and a half or whatever, you know what I mean? Like that can, it doesn't add up to a lot, but all of the different things add up to be enough. All of the people getting my merch, joining my Patreon, people using my Amazon link, like all of these different levels, they all come together and I staple them into enough to keep me and Carly rolling down the street and keep making content. Like I'm never going to be rich from doing this, this, but that's not the fucking point. The point is to get to do what I want to do the way I want to do it. And that has been going pretty well. As you can see, I didn't like stopping Fantasy Geographic financially hurts me 
and I'm not happy about it. It is definitely a noticeable impact. I'm going to lose the, like, depending, sometimes Fantasy Geographic wouldn't make anything, but if the lore did really well, it could bring an extra hundred or so dollars in a month, maybe even a bit more, depending on how things went, right? And that plus the Patreon means, like, the Fantasy Geographic Patreon had, it was never as big as the Historian Patreon, but it suffered less attrition as well as things got worse in the world. So while the Historian Patreon at one time was five or six times the size of the Fantasy Geographic Patreon, the, the, the Historian Patreon has shrunk to the point where it's only twice the size of the Fantasy Geographic. And now Fantasy Geographic is gone, which means one third of my Patreon money is gone, right? Because I shut that off because I'm not... I'm not going to take money from people when we've agreed like this is what it's for because that's fucking ignorant. And I I think it's crazy when people keep their Patreons open but don't make content anymore and just take money from people who I guess aren't paying attention because they got a bunch of charges on their credit card. That's scuzzy and I ain't a fucking thief. So you know what I mean? Like it sucks. It sucks and I'm hoping that I'll just do more on this channel and somehow it'll balance out, but I'm not going to pretend like the videos on this channel do as well as Fantasy Geographic. So I'm in kind of a bit of a limbo that's got a little bit of extra stress, but that's by my choice, right? Everybody gets to make their own decisions. I made that choice. DJ Long here. Yeah, negative budget, bro. Like for real, my microphone stand over here, if you see it, it's a, like my one tripod broke. So I basically took the tripod, a microphone stand part, and I took zip ties that I had from our Christmas tree, zip tied it together, and put like this weird little sack of sand that I have kicking around, like hanging underneath as a counterweight. It looks so ghetto. I just use ghetto solutions because it doesn't matter. Like keep it cheap. What am I gonna go and buy the best of everything? Like I spent on this GoPro gear because it's worth it. It's gonna let me make more awesome stuff for you guys. But like when it came to this, you can pay $50 for a body harness or you can pay $15 for a body harness. I paid 15. Certain you don't like Patreon, so you super chat and membership. Man, everybody has their own way and I'm cool with whatever way they wanna do it. And also, nobody has to support me. Nobody has to be part of that, right? Like it's all by choice and that works for me. And speaking of Super Chats, buddy, yesterday, you made it. You were Lord of the Board for the fifth time, so congratulations. You are the newest inductee on the roll of Mega Glory. You did it, buddy! Oh, hey, thanks for joining the membership as well, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Sirius says, TikTok influencers only influence how much I hate the platform, honestly. I hate the term influencer. I don't consider myself an influencer, even though other people do. I consider myself a comedian, an entertainer, right? I'm not, oh, can I influence you? I'm not trying to influence you, unless you consider influencing you into having a good time. That's all I want to do, man. Life is fucking hard, like super hard for people. And finding out that what I do makes it a little bit easier for them is of inordinate value to me. I value people like a hundred percent. Like seriously, when I well, what I said, to, what I said to Broccoli earlier in the stream. Now I'm just like, oh, but it make them feel bad with that. Like it's just I care, I care about people. Sometimes too much. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Right. So, I the idea of being an influencer is it's gross and empty. Just like being a content creator. It's like you make content. It's like it sounds like the insides of a teddy bear. Like the contents of this teddy bear are 50% polyester. Content is just, it's like, it, it's just anything. It's just anything, you know? So whatever, everybody's different, who cares? You know, it's what every fucking kid wants to be now. They, they fucking feel like they need to build their brand and be an influencer and shit, but they don't understand how poisonous this all is for your mind. Like for real, for real. You don't fucking get it, man. People who aren't wired a particular way don't get it, especially when it comes to being a comedian. Like, do you know how fucking, you know how bleak your view of the world has to be and how intelligent you have to be to actually be a full-on comedian? It requires a very particular process. And that's why you'll find most comedians underneath are not happy people. Like, 
all the time. You're like, oh, you're laughing and whatever. It's because we fucking need it, man. I know it's a kind of a bleak, harsh truth, but that's what it is, right? Like you got Robin Williams saying shit like, I know what it's like to feel like you're absolutely worthless and I never want anyone to feel that way. So I go out of my way to try and make people's lives better. I get that, man. I get that. Comedy is a little pinprick of light that bursts into the darkness of your life whether you want it or not. And it'll pull you out of it and give you a break for just a moment. And that's sometimes what you need. The laughter that I got today from making that Emperor video. Like, I laughed when I was making it. And then when I listened back to the shit I was saying, I was I was dying laughing. And so I'm laughing and then I can hear myself like laughing on the recording. And I'm like, this is what I need. This is what I need. It sounds more manipulative, like they're meant to be so great you should do what they do. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm not trying to fucking tell you guys what to do. I'm trying to entertain you. That's what that's what the goal is, to have a good time. And me to be entertained too, ideally, you know? <laughs> mm -mm. So yeah, it is what it is, right? We're all just fucking animals. We're all just trying to make it through. And uh, it's a real challenge. And I, you guys... I don't think you understand how much all this means to me. Oh, nah. Where's the pigeon mask? God. I'm emotionally unstable right now, guys. The shit that went on with my family has got me all fucked up in my head, so... I'm gonna go eat french fries in the dinner. Ugh. 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 Ziri says, the only thing you've influenced is my fucking sleep pattern trying to catch the live stream so I can interact. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ugh. It's hard, man. It's hard. Like, when I started out, bro, I, I, I didn't even like banning people because I felt like, yo, that's another person, man, and I'm just cutting them out entirely. That's a harsh thing to do to somebody. I would lose sleep over banning random people on my YouTube channel. How fucked is that? Like, how completely out of touch with reality is that? Bro, it's okay. It's just an account. They can always create a new one or whatever. There's no, like, you're going too deep with it. At a certain level, it's ridiculous. VT, it's all gone to the birds. It's all gone to the birds. Hmm. It's pretty wild for all the yelling I do about how this is my place and fuck you and your mother and all that shit. How much I genuinely care about other people and want them to be welcome here. You know? <laughs> it's it's an absurd contrast. What the fuck do I know? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and he says, empathy within reason is important, but don't ta get taken advantage of. Exactly. You have to make sure that you're not just opening yourself up to that kind of stuff. I'm pretty good at not getting taken advantage of, bro. I got a pretty good, like, way of filtering what's going on and going, no, you don't get to use me. Go to hell, right? That was one of the sad things about doing YouTube, too, is realizing that people started to view me as, like, a meal ticket that they could use to just move themselves further along and i'm not just talking about random strangers online i expected that but like people i know getting angry at me because i'm not promoting them and shit it's crazy oh well whatever what are you gonna do Yeah, DJ Longer, exactly, bro. I put the fucking trash bags on because it would be hilarious. But yeah, I was sweating like a fucking pig, man. <laughs> that was not comfortable. But it was funny. I'm glad I did it. Well, yeah, well, fuck, I, I feel like this stream has been more of a fucking bummer than I intended, man. <laughs> well, whatever, though, I'm going to beat myself up over because I ain't fucking worth it. That ain't worth it. We just gotta, we just gotta calm it down. We just gotta do some fucking transcendental meditation, right? So prepare yourself, guys. All right? Close your eyes. Open up your ball chakras. We are the universe. 
Feel my spirit swell within your sack. We are one. Give daddy a kiss. What is it? What you want one? This is a steel tongue drum. Uh, Callaway arranged for this to be sent to me. I love Caribbean steel drums, and somehow that turned into this. This isn't a Caribbean steel drum. I uh, wasn't expecting it, but this turned out to be awesome. So. <laughs> Banging on your mama's butt. Uh, Alfonso, you want to see Mike Tyson KO that guy? Bro, I don't care about boxing, but I absolutely agree. Like, I would like to see Mike Tyson fucking demolish him, right? Like, <laughs> I saw I saw some image somewhere that had, like, a shitty drawing of, uh, of Paul with an earring. And Tyson, like, and then it showed at the bottom, like, a fish and its bait. And it was just, like... Gonna, you're just dangling that in for him to chew your ear off, bro. <laughs> Jogglem, you spent a few years on drugs and drum circles. Hey, it's dirty hippie time. Midnight. I probably shouldn't be banging this in the yellow <laughs> jumbo. Oh. Juggling your bone chips in your thumbs from bongos? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. What? <laughs> what was the calming sound of the new Hadra song name? Fuck you, neighbors. The neighbors are nice, actually. I, um, I've i positioned my office as far away from everybody as possible. Basically, like, of the two bedrooms, I tried to calculate, like, which one was going to be the furthest from both, like, like, all the kind of adjacent neighbors and stuff. So, hopefully, well, nobody's complained, so that's a good sign. Lasagna, ordering yourself one right now. Yo, hold on, hold on. You found it on Amazon? Use my fucking Amazon link. Bookmark my fucking Amazon link. It's in the goddamn description of the live stream. I got a cut of every Amazon purchase. If you don't bookmark my fucking Amazon link and you're just buying stuff on Amazon, you're a prick because I can get the shit for free and it costs you nothing. And you can make it the fucking bookmark and use it for eternity. So if you don't use that fucking link while you're getting this drum after learning about it from me, bro? From me? <laughs> Here, since I'm ranting about it, I'll grab the Amazon affiliate link and even put it in the chat for you. Just copy this, copy this link into your actual like whenever you open up amazon just boom you know the a that's on the main screen you click on wherever it is use that turn that into your bookmarked link and then i get a little nibble zoop 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 taste and it's only amazon.com bro not amazon.ca not amazon.australia none of it unfortunately just.com so i guess lasagna if it's if you're not in america or using amazon.com then 
But you know, use the TCG player link. You never know if it works. The TCG player link does work. It absolutely does work. It's uh, the different stuff. Sometimes things come through. Sometimes things don't. But that's because people are buying stuff or not. But the link absolutely works. It absolutely does. Taste and cry and ah, well, it is what it is, man. I, it's I don't I don't know why they do it the way they do, but pff, what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Anyhow, thanks for coming and hanging out, my friends. We will reconvene soon. If you didn't already watch the hilarious Warhammer 40k video that I put out today on this The Hatcher channel, go check it out. And if you're watching the stream on the stream archive afterwards, go over to The Hatcher channel, watch the Warhammer 40k three and a half minute hilarious comedy video. It's great. All right, so safe travels, my friends. We shall reconvene again soon. I descend into the waters of destruction.